Welcome. This is the 15th in my series of climate mythbusters and the myth I'm going to bust today is that Mars is warming and thus the global warming we're seeing on Earth is caused by some outside agent like the Sun. Well let's get right into the myth conception here. The claim is that Mars is undergoing global warming just like the Earth. The conclusion that they draw is therefore the warming must be caused by some outside energy source and that energy source is most likely the Sun. Well the first question is, is Mars warming? And indeed it is. Unlike most of the uh, climate myths that we've dealt with so far, this myth is actually based in a real published paper. It's a paper by Fenton et al in 2007 and it was entitled Global Warming and Climate Forcing by Recent Albedo Changes on Mars. Now what the anti-global warming community has glommed onto is global warming on Mars and forgotten the rest of the title. In the paper they state, our results suggest that documented albedo changes affect recent climate change and large-scale weather patterns on Mars. So it's a change in albedo which was actually brought about by a large dust storm that has caused warming on Mars. If you could compare this area of Mars in the top picture, that was before the dust storm, with this area down here after the dust storm, you'll see a larger area of the southern hemisphere has become much darker. If it's much darker, it will absorb more sunlight and warm. So the heating is primarily, first of all, in the southern hemisphere, not global. And secondly, it's caused by a change in albedo of the planet, not a change in input from the sun or anywhere else. One of the favorite pictures shown to prove that the ice was being lost during this uh, period on Mars is this series of four images taken throughout a Martian year and you can see the area of ice loss it expands over that period from top left to bottom right. But this was taken during the period when Earth was undergoing the so-called hiatus in global warming when global warming was supposed to have stopped or at least slowed down greatly yet Mars is showing maximum ice loss. Now all during the period that Earth was warming rapidly Mars was not showing this sort of ice loss. So the timing of the two are completely out of phase with one another, which implies that they're a local phenomenon rather than a global phenomenon. As I've pointed out many times before, it ain't the sun. Since the mid 70s, Earth temperature has been rising steadily, whereas since the mid 40s, solar activity has been dropping steadily. So they're anti-correlated with one another, the exact reverse of what you'd expect if the sun were causing warming. So according to this, at least Mars should be seeing more ice accumulation throughout this period, not less. Well, let's get to some conclusions here. First of all, Mars is not warming globally. It's only warming in the southern hemisphere. The ice loss in the southern hemisphere is due to a dust storm that darkened the ice, causing a decrease in albedo and warming of that local area. The warming on Mars is not ha happening at the same time as the warming on Earth so it cannot be a result of the Sun. So if you hear somebody using this argument please post a link to this video, tell them they're full of nonsense and until next time, goodbye.